hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so today we are going to paint different fonts i'm using this 300 gsm watercolor sheet and uh, i'm going to use this four size round brush for all the fonts that we are going to paint today and uh, i'm going to use different shades of green so i have already created all the green shade this is the yellow green so i have mixed yellow and green together this is green and blue mix and other are this sap green uh, pathalo green and dark green so you can use whatever green you like or whatever color you like to paint all these fonts uh, so let's start with the first one so we need few uh, strings like this so i'm creating only one string and an oval shape in the horizontal direction a little smaller and then a circle at the top so this is roughly we have created uh, the outer structure now with the help of uh, different different colors we are going to paint leaves so in the center of the oval shape uh, join all the leaves together so all the leaves are in the curved shape so three three each side so i'm so i'm using different color to paint different leaves you can use same color also you can use different color also it's totally up to you now repeat the same process for the second oval shape so three three leaves each side and for the center we are going to start with a little different approach so i'm creating one single leaf standing like that and then i'm going to create few leaves as per the outer circle in the curve shape like we did in the other two I think this one is pretty unusual one but I really like it and then with the help of green color create the middle string Now let's start with the second one so for the second one I'm going to create the outer area so create one string like this and then create a leaf kind of structure so i'm creating this leaf shape you can adjust the shape as per your need and then with the help of green color first i'm going to paint the middle string and then we have to create multiple sub strings into it so these are the main sub strings and then we are going to divide these sub string into multiple other sub strings like a tree branch assume you are painting a tree branch here and you are dividing your branches into sub branches something like that so you can draw a tree kind of structure here and then with the help of different different color i am going to paint two two leaves like this so i am applying little pressure into my brush and i am starting with the one color and uh, i'm creating all the leaves different in the different different area with the same color so that i don't have to switch between colors uh so i'm utilizing one color then i'm utilizing other color and likewise i'm going to paint uh multiple different uh, shades of leaf here Let's paint few leaves. 
leaves with the help of patello green color and we are also following the outer area so that's why we are getting this kind of structure so based on your outer structure you can limit your uh, leaf shape or branches size and all those things and it's done now let's move to the third one so third one is the simplest one but little hectic to paint as we are going to paint small small leaf for this particular fun so create strings like this and then with the help of different different color create small leaf structure and then attach with the fine string with the main string so as i don't like to switch between the color so i'm using one color and painting all my leaves in different different area and then i'm going to switch my color and paint other leaves so i'm using deep green patello green and yellow green for this particular fun it's quite simple but if you paint uh, this with different shades of green and uh, with uh, little consistency in your leaf uh, size it will gonna look very beautiful and once done we can attach all the leaves together with the main string so i'm going to use green color to paint the middle string for this particular fun you can simply do it with the help of one single color also but i think it's quite interesting to paint with different shades of green now let's paint the fourth one so for the fourth one also we have to draw a leaf kind of structure so i'm creating this leaf kind of structure or feather kind of structure you can say and i'm going to create these one stroke leaves and then add a little zigzag pattern into it so let's do one more time so one stroke leaves based on the outer area and then a little zigzag into each leaf so basically the leaf size varies from the bottom to the top based on the outer structure that is why the outer structure is important and then with the help of different different shades i'm repeating the same process from top to bottom so you can keep the leaves smooth as well but i think a little zigzag in the leaf structure is important because uh, multiple ferns uh, does not have the smooth edges into it but you can keep it smooth as well if you like to and once done with all the leaves you can add the middle string to attach all the leaves together likewise you can paint other ferns as well with little variation in the leaf structure so this one is like little zigzag pattern you can uh, draw like a wavy kind of pattern into it we are done with the fourth one as well now let's move to the fifth one so for the fifth one i'm creating the outer structure like a triangle kind of shape paint the middle string with the help of green color and then with the help of green color itself create the sub strings as well based on the outer structure so the length is going to be smaller and smaller as we are going in the upward direction and then we have to repeat what we did in the third one 
like we have to create small small leaf uh, for every strings that we have and i'm using different different color so either you can paint one string with same color or maybe like i'm doing one string with different different color so it's totally up to you or you can paint whole fawn with the single color so i'm um, basically i'm repeating the same process for all these strings you can do a little variation in the uh, leaf size as well like you, you can start with the little bigger leaf size and then end with the smaller so you can do that as well but i'm doing it with the same size and just repeat the same process for all the strings that you have and then uh, in between I'm adding this one single single strings this is little thicker to make it little bushier and we are done so we are done with all the five ferns for today's painting so hope you have liked this video do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and thank you so much for watching See you guys in the next video.